Hello, good evening everyone. Welcome. Welcome back to the last full week of July 2023. We're grateful to God for being with us from the first week of this month. And I pray that he will keep us till we cross over to August, Monday night. Thank you for joining us tonight. Many of you are already on Facebook. Elder Raji, I see you. God bless you. May you be mightily blessed tonight. There are others on Facebook whose names I don't see. But they are there. Thank you, all of you who are on the uh, podcast. Is coming on strong, and those of you on Mix LR, we appreciate you joining us tonight. And those of you who are calling in as usual, you know we appreciate you very much. We started this prayer line with you, as you can remember, so we don't take you for granted. Neither do we take anyone for granted on this prayer line. Thank you so much for being here. We are especially grateful to those of you who are supposed to be in bed right now. It's past midnight in Nigeria. It's uh, after 11 p.m. in the great country of Ghana. And we just thank you from Kenya. Thank you from uh, England and all the other countries of the world where you might be joining us live tonight. I pray that God will bless you. I especially want to say to those of you on the podcast, you've really, 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 really been a source of encouragement to us because uh, we are climbing to 100,000 downloads. We are almost there. We are at 900, uh, we have 99,000 plus right now downloads. And in a couple of uh weeks we should be crossing the 100,000 line by the grace of God. That's a lot of downloads from various parts of the world. Please do us a favor. Help us get there quick. Share our prayers of tonight uh, with others. Just share the link. If you're on the podcast, share the link. If you are watching me on Facebook right now, Please share the link. Some of you do it religiously. I don't want to mention any name, but I just thank you for religiously and uh, conscientiously uh, sharing these uh, links. May the Lord bless you as you do. Uh, Tonight is going to be a very special night, very special prayer. And you want your friends and your loved ones to pray with us. And don't forget tomorrow night, I never announced this last week, but I'm, I just decided this afternoon that tomorrow night will be good to pray again about our seven requests because July is ending on Monday and I want us to give it another shot uh, on Friday. So tomorrow, if you will bring your prayer points, we're going to pray for the one hour uh, that we will have on this prayer request. Don't forget, Monday is our crossover. We'll be meeting here, and we will be having communion together. Please let all your friends and loved ones know about this. The prayer for tonight is special. Evil disease. Hey, Lord have mercy. We're praying against the worst disease that the Bible says is evil. More than what you can imagine, people. This is serious. Father, bless us as we come before you this evening. Let your spirit take absolute control of everything we do in this place. Give me the anointing to lead these prayers and give your people the anointing to pray. And Lord, do the most important thing, and that is to answer our prayers. Don't let our prayers go in vain. Lord, answer us, that we may be blessed, and that your name may be glorified. Thank you, Daddy, for the answer. We'll bless you, and we'll worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Our theme 
as you already know, is praying against a common evil disease. That's loaded. Not only is it evil, but it's very common. So that means that uh, if you look around, you will see many people who have been afflicted by this unwanted evil disease. We're going to be going into details when we read the scriptures. It is an evil disease. Yet, it is not just common, but very common and very evil and is worth praying against. No, 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 no. It's not any of the diseases that you classify as evil. No, no, no. I know you are thinking in your mind, what could it be? Could it be this? Could it be that? Listen, any, any disease that you could imagine in your heart, in your mind, this disease we are praying against is worse than they all combined together. Yes, stay where you are. Solomon told us about it in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 6, verse 1 and verse 2. Ecclesiastes, the sixth chapter, the first and the second verses. Look at what it says. Solomon said, There is an evil which I have seen under the sun. And it is common among men. Wait a minute. What could this evil be? And what makes it so common among men? You'll find out in verse 2 of that chapter 6 of Ecclesiastes. It says, this is the evil disease, folks. A man. So this disease affects men and women because... Man is used in the generic form there. A man hmm, to whom God hath given riches, wealth, and honor, so that he wanted nothing for his soul of all that he desireth. Yet God giveth him not power to eat thereof. But a stranger eateth it. This is vanity and it is an evil disease. Lord have mercy. I feel like reading that scripture again, but I'm not going to. Solomon is not the only one who has seen this. Trust me, I have seen it in many people's lives. Of people that build houses, build businesses, build churches, build ministries. And at the end of the day, they get wealth, they get riches, they get honor, and they never, 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 never enjoy what they spent years to gather together. Amazingly, the Bible says a stranger comes and eats the product of their sweat. A stranger comes and inherits what they have labored for for years. And the word stranger is used in the scriptures also to uh, depict evil spirits. So there are spirits that come and plunder the things that men have gathered together all their lives. And there are people that use these spirits and send them on errand. Go and destroy what so-and-so has spent years to build. What so-and-so has spent years to assemble. And these spirits come like they did to Job. And they just destroy things. There are many things that many people on this prayer line have built up over the years. We are going to pray tonight that you will eat the fruit of Of your labor. It is the evil anointing. Of wasted effort. That we want to come against tonight. It is the evil anointing. Of labor loss. That we want to pray against tonight. It is worthy of devoting. Our next 43 minutes. To pray against. 
So without further comments, let's go to the throne of grace and cry to God Almighty that this evil disease that is so common to human beings that the enemy uses to fight human beings and their efforts, the Lord will not let them prevail over us in the name of Jesus. You ready? If you are, God is. I want you to go before God tonight and say, Lord, I thank you for bringing us together tonight for another time of prayers, for another time of intercession. Father, I bless you. Father, I worship you. Father, I adore you. Father, I honor you. Thank you for counting me to be one of those people that will be in this place to intercede, to call on you, to cry to you. Hallelujah. Thank you because you are never, 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 never tired of hearing our voices, of listening to our petitions. Come on, give him praise, give him glory, give him honor, give him dominion, give him majesty. He's worthy to be praised, he's worthy to be glorified, he's worthy to be magnified. Come on, bless his name, bless his name, bless his name, bless his name for keeping us since last Friday when we left this place. Hallelujah for being with us over the weekend. And then here come Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and here we are Thursday night. For many of you who are with us tonight, it's already Friday morning. We bless the name of the Lord. Thank God for the prayers of last week. Thank God for David's prayer request that we prayed about last week. Those prayers, you need to go back and listen to it over and over again. So many people on the podcast downloaded those prayers last week. Hallelujah. On David's prayer request about life, I want you to thank God for giving you a new lease of life, for, for promising to stand by you, for promising to make your life worthy of being lived. Bless him, because good life is your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. And everyone that wants to frustrate your life and make things hard for you and make things difficult for you, they shall not prosper. In the mighty, mighty, mighty name of Jesus. Thank him for abundant and greatly blessed life that is ahead of you, that is before you. Thank him because last week we told him we just want to enjoy life. I don't know about you, me, I want to enjoy life. (laughs) I don't want to enjoy eternal life alone. I want to enjoy life here on earth. I want to have heaven here on earth. I want to drive the best car. I want to eat the best meals. I want to wear the best outfits. I want to listen. Just just serve God and serve yourself. Father God, we thank you because we can serve you and serve ourselves. You can provide for us where we don't have to beg and plead before we enjoy life. Oh God, make life worth living. What will make us to say we are going to kill ourselves? We want life to end? Lord God, it shall not be our portion. Bless the Lord because of the good life that you are enjoying right now. For most people on this prayer line, you are not just living an average life. God has been good to you. You are able to eat what you want to eat. You are able to sleep where you want to sleep. You are not sleeping under the bridge somewhere. God has been good to you. God has been gracious to you in your life. Father God, I thank you for my life. That was what we prayed about last week. I just want you to say again, say, Lord, I just thank you for my life. Lord, I bless you for my life. Lord, I glorify you for my life. That you have made my life to be worth living. I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor for my life. I thank God for my life. I thank God for my life. Yay! Lord, I thank you for my life. I thank you for my life. It's not with me as it was 10 years ago. It's not with me as it was 20 years ago. There are things you have now that you never had 20 years ago. In this life, you are living in a country. Sometimes you even have more than the people who are from that country. And you are a stranger in that country. Why don't you give God the praise for elevating you, for making your life worth living? Father, I bless you. Father, I worship you. Father, I adore you. I want you to thank God because destroyers of life have not been allowed to come and destroy your life. Robbers, thieves, hallelujah, have not been allowed to come and rob you of your life and take your life away from you. Bless him because good life is your portion in the name of Jesus. Father, I come before you to say thank you tonight because good life is our portion on this prayer line. But more important of all, thank him for life eternal. It shall be your ultimate destiny. Father, we thank you. 
because life eternal shall be our ultimate destiny. We bless your name for eternal life, that we will not only live in this life, we will live with you forever and ever and ever, walking the streets of gold, glory to God, living in the mansion that Jesus Christ said he has gone to prepare for us. Father, I will bless you for tomorrow. Our tomorrow shall be better than today. If it is in this earth that we have hope, then we are of all men misery, more miserable. We thank God that we have a home. We have a hope for the great beyond after we are done here. Thank him because you shall be remembered by heaven concerning him. Hallelujah. Thank God for the prayer request that we prayed on Friday night. The prayer request we prayed about, the seven prayer requests. Thank God for what he has done and what he is doing and what he will yet do concerning those seven prayer requests because a child will never cry to the Father and the Father will not do something about the cry. Thank you, Lord. Because I shall be remembered in heaven for all that I have asked him. And for all that we will ask him again tomorrow concerning those seven prayer requests. Please don't miss it. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank him because you shall be remembered by heaven concerning those seven requests. The Bible tells us that God remembered Noah and everybody that was in the ship. Everybody that is in the ship of your life, your wife, your husband, your children, those who work for you, those who you work for. And those that you have written down your prayer requests, they shall be remembered. They must be remembered. They will be remembered. Thank him because more shall be done as we pray about those written and unwritten prayer requests again tomorrow for the last time. Father, we praise you. Father, we bless you. Father, we worship you. Thank him for the prayers of tonight against the evil disease. My people, this is worse than cancer. This is what worse than COVID. This is worse than diabetes all combined into one. Thank God he led us to pray against this evil disease. If you don't have it, that's fine. If you have it, that's fine. We are going to the God who is able to remove what is already there. We are going to the God who is able to remove what the enemy might want to put there. I want you to bless his name because you will not be numbered. Say, oh Lord, I thank you. Say, oh Lord, I bless your name because I will not be numbered among those that have this wicked, evil disease that Solomon talked about. I want you to thank God because you are not among those who will never reap the fruit of their labor. Thank God because of the fruit of your labor that you're already reaping. The house you are living in is because of the fruit of your labor. The, the, the car you drive is because of the fruit of your labor. The food that you put on the table is because of the fruit of your labor. Thank God tonight for the fruit of your labor that you have been able to eat from. Not only you eat from, there are people who eat from it also. People here, people in other countries, they are eating from the fruit of your labor. Even those who don't care about you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing because there are people who have eaten of the fruit of your labor and now they are, they are fighting you. You know, people forget so soon. You ate of the fruit of my labor and now I have become your enemies. With all the food that I gave you, with all the labor that I labored and you ate of it, now suddenly you have become my enemy. Ah, you will be judged by God for eating their food and, and enjoying the fruit of their labor. And then you turn around and you are saying foolishness against them. The food you have eaten, the clothes they have put on your back will fight against you. I want you to thank God for blessing you, for blessing you to be a blessing to others. I want you to thank God because you are able to eat of the fruit of your labor and you are able to help others eat also from your labor. I want you to thank God for those who labored and, and gave of you to live on because that's how life is. Some people will labor, you will eat, and then you will grow up, you will labor, and others will eat, and hopefully they also will grow up and they will labor and others will eat from them. Don't ever forget those who are a blessing to you. Don't ever turn around and bite the finger that has fed you before. Ah, yeah. I see that all the time. People forget the finger that fed them and then they begin to bite it. They begin to say all kinds of foolishness. Can I say something to you? If you ever see anyone biting the finger that once fed them, don't encourage them. Don't partake 
in their foolishness. Father, we just thank you. We bless you. We worship you. We adore you because we are not ungrateful people. Hallelujah. We are grateful people, Lord, for what you have done for us and for what you have used other people to do for us. Bless him, bless him, bless him, bless him, because you will not be numbered among those who never reap the fruit of their labor. Right now, you are laboring on your job. You are laboring in your business. You are laboring in your ministry. You shall, as a result of the prayers of tonight, the evil disease of laboring and not being able to eat of the fruit of your labor shall shall not be your portion. I want you to thank God because if there is any war against you that is making you to labor but not see the fruit, the Lord would destroy it and the Lord would deliver you by fire tonight. I want you to thank him, thank him, thank him for relevant prayer points that he will give us tonight. I have about uh, 50 something prayer points written down here on this subject, but I want us to thank God because God will go beyond these 50 prayer points and give us things we need to pray about. Father, we bless you. We worship you. We adore you because you will teach us what to pray about. You will give us the things we need to call upon you for. I just want you to pray tonight that sin and unbelief will not hinder our prayers tonight. Those are our two greatest enemies. I want you to pray that the Lord will wash you, the Lord will cleanse you, the Lord will purge you. Any sin of omission, any sin of commission that will hinder your prayers against the evil disease tonight, the Lord will destroy them in you by the blood of Jesus. Say, O oh Lord, I come before you and I ask that you will wash me. I come before you and I ask that you will cleanse me. I come before you and I ask that you will purify me, that you will deliver me from any sin in my heart, in my mind, any sin of omission, any sin of commission. O oh Lord God, let the blood of Jesus wash me. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse me, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, let no iniquity stand between me and you tonight. Let my prayer be able to ascend unto you like the evening sacrifice tonight. Bless him tonight because of sin that is conquered by Jesus. It was conquered on the cross 2,000 years ago. And here we are, we can have victory over it. If I regard it in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. I want you to thank God because the Lord will hear you and will not allow sin to stop you. I want you to pray tonight that the Lord will remove all unbelief, all doubt from you. The Bible says, let that man not think he will receive anything of the Lord. That's the man that does not believe God. That's the man that does not trust God. That's the man that is filled with unbelief. Say, oh Lord, remove unbelief from our heart concerning these prayers tonight. Remove doubt and double-mindedness from me concerning the prayers of tonight. Let my prayers not be hindered in any way, in any form, in any shape. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I want you to pray. I want you to pray for strength tonight. I want you to pray for strength to stay awake. Pray strength to pray, to stay alert in the name of Jesus. Strength not to be distracted. Strength to focus on why we are here tonight. Throughout these prayers tonight, that the Lord will help you to be able to stay awake, stay alert, strengthen to pray, energized to pray, empowered to pray. Papa, do it for us to the glory of your name, to the honor of your name, in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that the Lord will have his way, have his way, have his way. Have your way, Lord, have your way. Oh, Lord, come and have your way in this prayer meeting tonight. We come against every evil occurrence. We come against every blockage. We come against every barrier. We come against every hindrance. Every spirit that is coming against this prayer tonight, we come against it. Every disruption that wants to come against this prayer tonight, we come against you in the name of Jesus. Father, give us free flow tonight. Free flow, free flow, free flow to pray tonight in the name of Jesus. Let us pray for those who are supposed to join us, but they forgot. I want you to pray that the Holy Spirit will go and remind them wherever they may be tonight so they can call in, so they can tune in in the name of Jesus. And be part of what we are going to do in this place tonight in the mighty, mighty, mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray for those who are in far away land. It's already way in the middle of the night. Let's pray that the Lord will keep them awake, keep them alert, that they will not stay up 
only to doze off. Father God, help them to stay up and stay up. Let them to stay up and stay up and stay alert even as they call on you, as they pray unto you tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now let's go into the prayers proper tonight. Say, my father, my father, my father. Say, let me not be numbered. Yes, let me not be numbered among those who carry the evil that is common to man. In the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, have mercy upon me tonight. Let me not carry this common evil in my life, oh God. Let me not carry this common evil in my hand, oh God. Let me not carry this common evil in my life in any form, in any way, in any shape. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Please pray wherever you are tonight. Let's call upon God. Let me not be numbered among them, O Lord. Those who carry the evil that is common to man. Those who are afflicted and inflicted by this common evil among men in the name of Jesus. Evil that is common to man, you shall not be my portion. Evil that is common to man, I shall not come under your dominion. Evil that is common to man, I shall not <coughs> come under your control. Come on, pray tonight. The Bible calls it a common evil disease. Say, oh Lord, I reject this evil disease for my life, oh God. Papa, I reject this evil disease for my wife. I reject this evil disease for my husband. I reject this evil disease for my children. I reject this evil disease for my loved ones. I shall not labor for loss. I shall not labor in vain. Others will not take that which I've labored for. Others will not enjoy, Lord, the, the, the reward of the sweat of my face. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, let no evil under the sun be able to cleave to any area of my life. Pray, 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 pray tonight. Oh Lord, let no evil under the sun be able to cleave to any area of my life. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want you to say, Lord, I shake every evil off from my life. Lord, I shake every evil off from my life. Evil, O oh God, every evil under the sun. No evil under this sun will be able to cleave to any area of my life. Do you know for the past two weeks, even without knowing this, that's the prayer I've, I've prayed. As I always pray every morning. I never missed it for the past two or three weeks. Lord, any evil in, around my life, any evil in my life, any evil connected to my life, Father, remove it, remove it, remove it, remove it, remove it tonight. Let me give you my personal prayer then tonight. Say, oh Lord, no evil under the sun shall be able to cleave to any area of my life. Open your mouth and let us pray tonight. Say, oh Lord, my God. Say, oh Lord, my Father. Let no evil under this sun be able to cleave to any area of my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And where they have connected to me. I shake them off by fire. I shake them off by fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, O oh Lord, where they have cleaved unto me, blood of Jesus, wash them off. Blood of Jesus, wash them off. Blood of Jesus, wash them off. Wash them off every evil that is cleaving unto me, O oh God. Let your blood wash them. Let your blood remove them. Let your blood wash them. Let your blood remove them. Let your blood wash them. Let your blood remove them. them. Where any evil under the sun has attached itself to me. Come on, pray, 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 pray. You may eat somebody's food and evil comes upon you. You may drink somebody's drink and an evil comes upon you. You may get a present from somebody and an evil comes upon you. Say, oh Lord, I reject them tonight. I shake them off tonight. Blood of Jesus cleanse me tonight. Blood of Jesus remove them from me tonight. You may shake somebody's hand and you are connected to evil. Oh Lord, I pray that any evil that has, uh, that has lingered in my life and connected to my life, Lord, I shake it off, I shake it off, I shake it off, I shake it off. I pray that the blood of Jesus will remove all evil from my life. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, wash me and cleanse me and purge me and purify me, O Lord. 
any evil of any kind that has attached itself to me, O Lord, remotely or close by. Father, I reject them, I reject them, I reject them. In the name of Jesus, destroy them for me tonight. O Lord, destroy them for me tonight and rescue me by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. I will not carry the evil that is common to man in the name of Jesus. Let me not be numbered among them, O God. Those that carry evil, those that carry the evil that is common to man. Papa, let me not be numbered among them. Let me not be numbered among them. Let me not be numbered among them. Those who carry the evil that is common to man. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I want you to pray tonight. Pray tonight. Pray tonight. Say, though I am among men. We are among men. Oh, we are among human beings. And the Bible says this thing is very common among men. Say at home. Say at work. Say in the family. Say everywhere else, let me stand out among them as blessed without curse. I shall stand out as blessed without curse. From now, O Lord, let me stand out as one of those that are blessed without any curse upon our lives. In the name of Jesus, he hung on the tree so you can be delivered from every form of curse. Papa, break down. Papa, tear down. Papa, shred it. Any form of curse, O God, that has lashed itself to our lives, uh, that has connected itself to our lives. Uh, Father, break them, break them, break them, break them, break them, break them. Uh, he said, among men, uh, there are people that God gives riches, God gives wealth, God gives honor. I want us to pray about that first of all. Uh, right now, say, Father, number me, number me, number me, add me to the list uh, of those that you give riches to. It's a gift to oh, hey! even the power to get wealth. It's a gift. Oh, I want you to pray tonight. Father, number me, number me among those that you give riches to. Number me among those that you give wealth to. Number me among those that you give honor to in this world. Let's emphasize those three areas. Let me tell you something. Riches is good. Oh, hey. Wealth is good. Oh, ah. Honor is good. Less. I want you to pray tonight. Riches, honor, and wealth. Papa, let it be a gift that I receive on this prayer line tonight. Night. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Papa, number me, O oh Lord, let me be one of them that are, are, are blessed to have riches, are blessed to have wealth, are blessed to have honor in this world. Papa, release it unto me, O oh God, anoint me with wealth, riches, and honor. O oh Lord, pour riches, wealth, and honor into my life. O oh Lord, I stretch my hand before you tonight, even as I personally lead this prayer. Lord, here are my hands tonight, O oh God. Pour into my hands uh, your riches, uh, your wealth, uh, and your honor uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, why should Abraham have it and you don't have it? Uh, why should Isaac have it and you won't have it? Uh, why should Jacob have it and you cannot have it? Uh, why should Job have it and you cannot have it? Uh, why should all these other people in the Old and New Testament, uh, and even in contemporary days, uh, why should they have riches, uh, wealth, uh, and honor, and you don't have it. Why should unbelievers have it? Why should people who don't go to church have it? I want you to pray tonight, oh Lord, give me, give me, give me, as you have given others. In the name of Jesus, riches, wealth, and honor. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, release it to me, release it to me, release it to me, release it to me. Make me a rich person. Make me a wealthy person. Make me, oh Lord, a honorable person. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, I want you to pray, say, oh Lord, whatever is fighting riches in my life, whatever is fighting wealth in my life, whatever is fighting honor in my life, Papa, arise and destroy for me tonight. Open your mouth and fire prayers, people. Say, whatever it is that is fighting me from having riches, whatever it is that is fighting me from having wealth, whatever is fighting me from having, oh Lord, honor, Papa, destroy by fire. Papa, destroy by fire. Papa, destroy by fire. Papa, destroy by fire. Enemies, O Lord, of riches, 
wealth and honor in the name of Jesus, whether human enemies, whether spiritual enemies, Papa, destroy them, destroy them, destroy them, destroy them. Powers in my family, powers, oh Lord, in my household, powers around me, oh God, that are fighting me from having riches, from having wealth, from having honor. Papa, destroy them, destroy them, destroy them, destroy them. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I hope you are praying where you are tonight. You can use some riches, you can use some wealth, you can use some honor, and know it to be the truth. If you feel you don't need it, then pray it for me. Because we can do some gospel work. We can send some missionaries out. We can do build some fantastic churches. If we just have the riches and wealth and the honor. I would love to write a check of one million dollars to my church. Oh Lord, I'm not there yet. Say, oh Lord, take me there, take me there, take me there, take me there. Where I can pay for my house cash. Where I can pay for my automobile cash. All this financing that makes you pay three times of what you bought originally. I want you to say, Lord, I reject this curse. I reject this foolishness. You said I will not borrow, but I will lend to many nations. That's the man that is rich. That is the woman that is wealthy. Papa, release it into my life for your glory. That for once they will say there is a believer somewhere that has riches, that has wealth, that has honor. Oh Lord, release it to me. Destroy all the powers that are fighting me from having riches, honor, and wealth. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. People, let us come against foundational generational powers. Foundational generational our powers. Say, oh Lord, destroy them. All foundational and generational powers. Fighting riches. Fighting honor. Fighting wealth from manifesting in my life. Oh Lord, every power in my foundation. Every power in my generation. Every power in my bloodline. Walking against. Fighting against. Riches, wealth, and honor. Papa, arise like the mighty warrior that you are. And fight against them. Jehovah Nissi. Jehovah over Nisi, arise, O oh God, and manifest your power against all foundational problems. Mention the name of your family if you want. There are some things that your family has been forbidden from having. Say, O oh Lord, I will have it in the name of Jesus. Come on, Lord, destroy, destroy, destroy every foundational, every generational curse. Fighting these gifts from manifesting in my life. They manifest for one week and they are gone. They manifest for one year and they are gone. Say powers. Say powers of household wickedness blocking me from riches. Powers of household wickedness blocking me from wealth. Powers of household wickedness blocking me from honor. I scatter you in the name of Jesus. I scatter you in the name of Jesus. I scatter you in the name of Jesus. Move out of my way. Move out of my life in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus. I want you to call them into your life. Say wealth, follow me, follow me, follow me. Honor, follow me, follow me, follow me. Riches, follow me, follow me, follow me. In the name of Jesus, begin to manifest in my life. Come on, pray, pray, pray. If you believe it, it shall be given unto you. Everything has a name. Oh, I want you to call them, call them, call them, call them. If your name is Jimmy and you are standing beside me, and I say, Jimmy, you will run to me. If you your name was Janet, and I say, Janet, you will run to me. So is riches, so is wealth, so is honor. Call them, say, honor, riches, and wealth. I command you, I summon you, I summon you to become my property. In the name of Jesus, Father, fill my life with wealth, honor, and riches. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, all powers fighting riches, all powers fighting honor, all powers fighting wealth in my life. I scatter you by fire. I scatter you by fire. I scatter you by fire. In
in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Come on, let's pray tonight that once rich, once rich, once wealthy, once honorable shall not be said of you in the name of Jesus. Let it not be said of me, O God, that he was once upon a time very rich. He was once upon a time very wealthy. He was once upon a time very honorable. But now the opposite is the case. Say, my father, let that not be my portion. Let that not be the portion of anyone on this prayer line. And those who used to be rich, those who used to be wealthy, those used to who used to be honorable, Papa, give them restoration of everything they have lost. Give them more than they have lost. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, I want you to open your mouth and say, Papa, power to receive. Say, Papa, power to retain. Say, Papa, power to receive. Say, Papa, power to retain. Hey, say, Papa, power to receive. Say, Father, power to retain riches, wealth, and honor. Oh Lord bestow upon me by fire by force in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus say oh Lord power to receive power to retain riches wealth and honor Papa give it to me 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 oh Lord power to receive power to retain blessings of riches blessings of wealth blessings of honor Papa give it to me to receive give it to me to retain in in the name of Jesus. I don't know how you will do it, O oh God, but you have the key to riches. You have the key to wealth. You have the key to honor. Open the door for me. Let me enter. Open the door for me. Let me enter. Whatever power is standing in the way, O oh Lord, shove them out of my way. Let me go forward, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Honor is good, O. Oh. I want you to pray that the Lord will deliver you, deliver you, deliver you. Say, O oh Lord, Deliver me from putting my hands in things that turn honor into dishonor. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray, 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 pray. Don't let me put my hand in it. Don't let me put my life in it. Don't let me put anything that concerning me into it. Anything that turns honor into dishonor. Father, I reject it. Anything about me in my life, oh Lord, that would make me to turn from honor to dishonor. Papa, I receive, I reject it. Papa, I reject it. Come on, open your your mouth and pray tonight. Please pray wherever you may be. Don't fall asleep. Oh, it's not time to fall asleep. You will wake up tomorrow morning and your life will change. Say, Oh Lord, let me not put these hands of mine. Let me not put this heart of mine. Let me not put this soul of mine into anything that will bring this honor to me, O oh God. Honor, 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 honor is my portion. I want you to pray that powers and manipulate people. Hey, powers and manipulate people. Uh, to do things, uh, to go to places uh, of dishonor. Oh Lord, let it not have dominion over me in the name of Jesus. Uh, let no power be able to manipulate me uh, to bring dishonor into my life. Uh, let no demon be able to manipulate me uh, to bring dishonor into my life. Uh, I want you to pray for power tonight. Say, oh Lord, power tonight. Uh, power to get uh, whatever good thing my soul desires. Uh, because the Bible says it gives them what Whatever their soul desires. Ah, my soul desires many things. I want you to pray, O oh Lord. Whatever my soul desires, you know them, O oh God. You can mention them to God right now. Whatever your soul desires. God said, I give them power to get it. Say, O oh Lord, whatever good thing my soul is desiring right now. Mention them to God. The Lord will give it to you and give it to you and give it to you. In the name of Jesus. I don't know what your soul desires. Maybe it's a visa. I don't know what your soul desires. Maybe it's spiritual gifts. I don't know what your soul desires. Maybe it's prophetic auction. I don't know what your soul desires. Maybe it's deliverance anointing. Say, oh Lord, whatever my soul desires, oh Lord, whether physical, whether spiritual, whether material, Papa, give me power to get them. Papa, give me power to get them. Come on, open your mouth and pray tonight. Maybe it's a wife you need. Maybe it's a husband you need. Maybe it's a son or a daughter you need. Let's cry unto God. You can only get it through prayer. Don't go and get it through voodoo or juju. Oh, get it only through God. Power to get whatever good thing my soul desires. Papa, give me, give me, give me, give me that power. Give me that grace. Give me that blessing. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray tonight. Whatever has the potential. Whatever has the potential of blocking access 
this to what your soul desires. Have you ever desired something? And to get there, there are blockages, blockages, barriers to the point that you just give up and say, maybe it's not for me. It's for you, my friend. Say, oh Lord God, in the name of Jesus, whatever is blocking my access to what my soul desires, destroy them by fire, oh God. Whatever has been put in the way, whatever has been put in the path to block me, oh God, the desires of my soul. Papa, let it catch fire, let it be destroyed by fire. Whatever has the potential of blocking my access to what my soul desires, Papa, destroy them by fire. 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 Whatever has the potential of blocking access to what my soul desires. Oh Lord, let them catch on fire. Let them be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, whatever is blocking the fulfillment. Yay! Whatever is blocking the fulfillment of my soul's desire. Papa, destroy them, oh God. You know what my soul desires. You know what you promised me, oh Lord. Whatever is blocking me, whatever is hindering me, destroy them by fire, destroy them by fire, destroy them by fire, destroy them by fire. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray, say, oh Lord, so give me, so bless me, that I shall be in want of no good thing. Say, oh Lord, so give me, say, oh Lord, so bless me, that I shall be in want of no good thing. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and let's pray together tonight. Say, oh Lord, so bless me, say, oh Lord, so give me, that I shall be in want of no good thing. No good thing will you withhold from them that walk walk uprightly. Papa, don't withhold any good thing from me, O Lord, and don't let the enemy be able to block any good thing that you want from me, O Lord. You have the power. Did you hear what I said? I want you to remind God. Say, my father, you are my father now. You have the power to give riches, to give honor, to give wealth. Let me not be denied as I have prayed tonight. Let me not be denied as I have prayed tonight. Come on, pray, 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 pray. Say, oh Lord, let me not be denied. Even as I have called on you tonight, as I have prayed unto you tonight for, for honor, for riches, and for, for wealth. Father, let me not be denied in the name of Jesus. Let me not be denied in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray. Let's go to the next portion of prayer. Say, O oh Lord, say, O oh Lord, say, O oh Lord, give me power to eat the fruit of my labor. Papa, give me power to eat the fruit of my labor. Pray, 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 pray. This is a serious prayer, so power to eat the fruit of my labor. Papa, give it to me, 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 Lord. Power to eat the fruit of my labor, let it be released into my life. Power to eat the fruit of my labor, let it be released into my life. Lord, I reject labor loss. Labor loss shall not be my portion. Open your mouth and say it loud and clear. Say, Lord, I decree and I declare tonight, labor loss shall not be my portion. I shall not be fired when I'm supposed to be promoted. I shall not fall sick and be told to be laid off when I'm supposed to be promoted. Oh, Lord, I will not labor loss. I will eat the fruit of my labor in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, don't let strangers eat the food that I gather with my sweat. Open your mouth and pray, oh, these things are real. Solomon said, I've seen it under the earth, and it's an evil disease. Do you know it's an evil disease? And it's all vanity for strangers to eat the fruit that you gather with your sweat. Say, oh Lord, let it not be my portion from now on. Don't allow strangers to eat the food and the, and the fruits that I gather with my sweat. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Don't let them pick out of my hands the blessings that you put in my hands. Don't let the blessings that are mine be assigned to somebody else. Oh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, look down upon me tonight. Don't let strangers eat the food that I gather with my sweat. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You know, sometimes you build a house and some Angelina wants to come and gather what you have built. I want you to pray tonight. Strangers shall not eat the food that I gather with my sweat. In the name of Jesus. I will not labor loss in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray, 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 pray. Let's make some 
declarations tonight. I want us to make some declarations tonight. This thing is serious. So he said, I've seen this evil and it is common among men that somebody, God will give somebody power. God will give somebody power to get wealth, to get riches, to get honor and will not give them the power to enjoy it. Say, oh Lord, power to enjoy everything you have blessed me with. Power to enjoy everything that you have blessed me with. Papa, give it to us tonight. Give it to us tonight. Give it to us tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I told you many times, God, the Bible uses strangers for demons. And it said, strangers come and they eat everything that you have taken. Say, I forbid every demon. I forbid every spirit. I forbid every satanic agent from gathering that which I have gathered. From removing that which I have gathered. You remember Gideon? Gideon said, when we gather our wheat harvest, the Moabites come and they take everything away. I shall not be your portion. I want you to pray that everything I've gathered over the years, everything I've gathered with my wife, gathered with my husband, gathered with my children. Oh Lord God, the state will not take it. The country will not take it. In the name of government will not take it from me. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, let it not be my portion. Let it not be my portion. <laughs> I'm laughing because I know what it means. I know what it means. Oh, I know what it means. For you to almost lose everything you've gathered. For, 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 for the enemy to say, everything you have gathered in your life, I'm taking everything away. And with one blow, Whew, everything is gone. Say, oh Lord, don't let the enemy blow away that which is mine. Don't let the enemy blow away that which I've gathered. You know, you know, uh, Job, he gathered a lot of things. And in one day, everything was blown away by the enemy. Say, oh Lord God, in the name of Jesus, I pray tonight. Strangers, strangers that came to Job, evil wind that came to Job, evil fire that came to Job, and all the foolishness that the devil sent to him. Let them not have power over me. Let them not be allowed in my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Labor loss. Labor for strangers. Labor for people who are not even godly. It shall not be my portion. You will build and build and build a company and bang! Something will just take it away from you. In the name of Jesus. Don't you remember famous Amos? You remember famous Amos? Yeah. That brand. Famous Amos. He was a black man. He built that company. And then trouble came in the company. And they had to take it away from him. And you know what? They still keep it as famous Amos. But Amos is not the one in charge of it. I want you to pray tonight in the name of Jesus. Say whatever I start, I will keep and hand over to my children in the name of Jesus. I will not commit any mistake. I will not commit any error that will make outsiders or government come and take that which is mine. Labor laws. You shall not be my portion. Labor for strangers. You shall not be my portion. Papa, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. You have given me power to get this and to get that. And we are praying tonight that the Lord will give us power to get. Papa, give us power that strangers will not be allowed. Father, keep them out of bounds. Surround what we have gathered with fire. Surround what we have gathered with angels. That strangers will not eat the fruit will not eat the food that we have gathered in the name of Jesus. I want us to close with some declarations tonight. We have just seven more minutes. I want us to make some declarations by faith. Say, oh Lord, say I make the following declarations by faith. Let them be established in the name of the Father. Let them be established in the name of the Son. Let them be established in the name of the Holy Ghost. Say every declaration that I make shall be established tonight. Every declaration that I make tonight, Papa, let them be established, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. I got this from the Bible, oh, this is not my own idea. Oh. I got these declarations from the Bible, and I think we have used it at least once on this prayer line before. Let's go before God now and make these declarations. Say, I shall build houses, and I shall inherit them. I shall inhabit them. Come on, open your mouth, say, I decree and I declare in the name 
name of Jesus. I shall build houses and I shall inhabit them. Say, I shall build houses and I shall inhabit them. I was discussing with someone about two weeks ago and he looked at me and said, Bishop, I pray that the houses, these houses, I shall inherit them. We shall inherit them. I want you to pray in the name of Jesus. I shall build houses and I shall inhabit them. I shall build houses and I shall inhabit them. I shall not build house and then somebody else will come and inhabit them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say the house that I'm building. The business I'm building. I shall eat the fruit of it. In the name of Jesus. Say I shall plant vineyards and I shall eat the fruit of the vineyard. In the name of Jesus. Say oh Lord have mercy upon me. Remove this evil disease far from me. Let me plant. Let me eat the fruit. Let me eat the fruit of everything I plant. In the name of Jesus. Say by the grace of God. I decree tonight. I shall not build and another inhabit. I shall not build a house and another inhabit. I shall not plant and another eat. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say what is mine I shall enjoy. What is mine I shall enjoy. In the name of Jesus. Say I shall live long. Come on open your mouth. Say oh Lord bless me with long life. Bless me with long life uh, to enjoy the fruit of my labor. Bless me with long life, O oh God. Uh, bless me with health and strength uh, to be able to enjoy the fruit of my labor. In the name of Jesus. Uh, I like what the man of God said. As the days of a tree are, so shall my days be. In the name of Jesus. Uh, you know, remember the oak tree. The oak tree can be there for years and years and years and years and years. Uh, the same thing with the palms uh, of Lebanon. They can be there for for years and years and years and years. Say, oh Lord, as the days of a tree are, so will my days be. Let me live long and let me live healthy to enjoy the fruits of my labor. I shall not be among those who die. I shall not be among those who die within months of retirement. In the name of Jesus. I've seen that happen. Oh, he retired and died the next month. He retired and died the next year. I want you to pray tonight that shall not be your portion as the days of a tree are so will your days be sicknesses that never came when you are walking they will not come after you retire i shall not be among those who die within months within years of retirement i shall live long all i have inquired acquired i shall live long to enjoy them come on open your mouth and pray you will drive your car long you will live in your house long in the name of jesus father give me that blessing tonight don't let me have this evil disease in my life. Let me live long to enjoy all I have acquired in life. Open your mouth and pray tonight. Say incurable disease. Say incurable diseases. Incurable afflictions shall not stop me from enjoying the fruits of my labor. Shall not stop me from enjoying the fruit of my labor. In the name of Jesus. There are people who retire and then they develop kidney disease. They develop kidney failure and they are going to take uh, uh, dialysis Analysis, and they use all the money they have gathered. They have no insurance. And it is all that money they will use for this evil disease. And they will still die. Say, oh Lord, let that not be my portion, oh God. Whatever I might have done in life that will make that be my portion, just forgive me, oh Lord. Incurable diseases, incurable afflictions that shall stop me from enjoying the fruits of my labor. That shall make me to waste all the fruit of my labor. Papa, let it not be my portion. Let it not be my portion. Say, I am your elect. Say, I am your elect. Say, O oh Lord, I am your elect. I shall enjoy the works of my hands for a long, long, long time. I shall not labor in vain. In vain. I shall not bring forth in trouble. In the name of Jesus, my offsprings, they shall enjoy what I have gathered. In the name of Jesus, because I have called you tonight. O oh Lord, answer me according to your word as I have called. O oh Lord, answer me tonight. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. All these declarations, let your yea and amen be upon all of them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to open your
with your mouth and just tell the Lord to answer your prayers uh, even as you have called upon him tonight. Uh, I will not be those that have riches, wealth and honor uh, and want nothing uh, and their soul desires nothing uh, yet God does not give them power to eat thereof. Uh, say Papa give me power to eat thereof. Uh, give me power to enjoy the fruit of my labor in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Don't let it be the family members that will live in my house that are built for me and my children. Don't let them be the ones that will inherit my automobile while it is still new. Let me enjoy everything. Oh Lord, have mercy upon me and answer our prayers tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to begin to thank God for hearing us tonight. I want you to begin to thank God for giving you the desires of your heart tonight. God is good all the time. He will give you all that your soul desireth and it will give you long life and good health to be able to enjoy them in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, I thank you because this evil disease, this common evil disease shall not be my portion. It may affect other people, but it will not affect me. It may afflict other people, but it will not afflict me. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Papa, we thank you and we bless you and we worship you, Lord. Thank you for answering our prayers. Thank you for looking upon us mercifully. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And amen and amen. I bless you in the name of the Father. I bless you in the name of the Son. I bless you in the name of the Holy Ghost. May God give you all the desires of your heart. And may God give you long life and good health to be able to eat the fruit of your labor. Everything you've gathered in life, including your education, it will not become the property of strangers. I decree it for you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen and amen and amen. Thank God for tonight. You can still go over the prayers if you want. Go on the podcast or go online or go on Facebook, on Twitter. You can pray those prayers over and over again. They are good for you and they are good for me. Tomorrow night, please don't miss tomorrow night. We will pray about our seven prayer requests again because that's going to be our last Friday for the month of July. Prayers can never be too many. Praying can never be too much. So join us tomorrow. Bring your prayer requests. We'll bring them before God. God will hear our prayers over and over again till he does something for us and gives us the victory that we need. Thank you for coming tonight. Let's share the grace. As we break for the evening, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Don't forget to bring your prayer request tomorrow whether written or unwritten. Let's pray about prayer tomorrow. God bless you as you come. Good night.